We're here with Tatiana of Ginger. Tatiana, welcome to the show. Um, Ginger just dropped their fourth studio album, Macro, on October 25th. And uh, thank you for, for joining us. Oh, thank you guys for, <laughs> for having me. So what's, what's been the... There. <laughs> all over, through the, through the power of the internet, yeah. right? Um, yeah, yeah. So what's the, what's the, the immediate response to the, the album been like? Um, have you, I know you guys are on tour right now. You're just kind of wrapping up that tour. Uh, how has the, how has the yeah. response been as you've moved through the United States? Well, so far, uh, I haven't yet heard any negative reaction to, to the album. So that's good. That's, yeah, that's good. Very good. But basically like, yeah, I, I'm not the one who constantly like surfing the internet, uh, in search for like comments and reactions you know i don't care what people think and uh, because i have a lot of things to do <laughs> apart you know so <clears throat> but i don't know like seriously oh so far so good good again that- i haven't i haven't yeah i haven't heard any shitty response to the album. <laughs> well, it's, that's good to hear. I know I, I've listened to the album uh, many times over um, since its release, and I've I've enjoyed every, every moment of it. And I I think uh, Ginger has done a done a great job with with this album. Oh, is, thank you very much. So. <laughs> is is this um this is your is this your second U.S. tour that you're that you're on right now? Mm. Is that is that accurate? Not really. Well, we consider it to be the third one. Third one. Yeah, because the first one was with the with the Cradle Field. The second was a very very small headlining tour. Like I don't remember how many shows. Like seven maybe shows we had it during summer, right after Cradle Field. And then uh, Devil Driver. Okay. Yeah, with Devil Driver, and now we're here. So, yeah, it's, like this is our big third big one. Yeah, third big tour. So, <clears throat> this album seems to be a bit more progressive than the other, the previous albums. The previous ones were kind of uh, like a metalcore vibe. Uh, what's uh, what was the idea to go in that more progressive direction? <laughs> Oh guys, you know, again, I don't, I don't take part in, in um, composing music. Sure. Yeah. So everything I I do, I just like writing lyrics and trying to fit them into, <laughs> into already written uh, material. You know. Right. Like it's just presented so, to you, uh, and then you're putting words to it. Yeah. So basically. Uh, well, I, I I don't take part in in composing it, and they they write music. I mean, uh, the rest of the guys they write music in their homes, and they don't even ask me <laughs> uh, about like my opinion um, about the material. You know? Are you so, doing all the lyrics? Do you write all the lyrics for the band? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on macro. I did all the lyrics on micro. Uh, Eugene helped me, helped me with, I think, with two songs or one song. One song. Yeah. Okay. One song. Yeah. I what really your... asked him to help me. I really asked me asked him to help me this time on okay. ma- micro, but uh, he was so uninspired. Yeah. So I did okay. it myself. Um. What, uh, what, where does the inspiration come for the lyrics? Is it your upbringing? Is it just what's happening around you? Yeah, it's, it, it, it's what's happening around me. Um, for example, Retrospection and Homeback um, were inspired by my uh, trip home to my hometown uh, earlier this year. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and already like many people know that uh, my hometown is being like the war zone right now mm-hmm. and yeah and uh, pausing death 
was inspired by a book um, after uh, Jose Saramago. It's a port- Portuguese writer. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so basically everything, everything around us is very inspiring. You just have to open your eyes a bit wider. <laughs> yeah, do you... Do you feel that uh, Pisces was the kind of the moment that the band really broke into the mainstream? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Pisces lost its charm. It became viral, is mm-hmm. what I don't like. Yeah. And uh, I don't like uh, its huge uh, hype, you know? Yeah having right now because it wasn't supposed to be like this 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 song is very personal very personal and uh, believe me Pisces Pisces are not are not those people who are begging for attention so yeah so d- is and, that kind yeah, of something kind of, kind of I don't like I, I don't like this word mainstream because sure uh, they the people made it mainstream we did didn't really want it to be like this, but nevertheless, uh, it's uh, from another hand, it's like it's, it's really good. It's really good that it, this song is so much appreciated. Yeah, it must be kind of surreal to have people reacting to your vocals, and for you to be viewed right now as one of the top vocalists in all of metal music. That's got to be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or do you not like that praise? Yeah, I don't like it. Let me do my thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's okay. Yeah. I, I don't beg for, for awards or stuff like that. It's just mm-hmm. self-expression, but nothing. Just I, I, I don't have anything to to prove. Yeah, right. To people, to people or to myself. Oh, maybe to myself, yes, something. But <laughs> yeah. As the bands become bigger, do you feel more jaded to the popularity you guys are receiving? Um, uh, I, the only thing I can I can say that well, me personally, I feel quite under the pressure. You know. Mm-hmm. I feel pressured. A bit, but uh, I'm sure that people are gonna say like, "Okay, but this is what you wanted, mm-hmm. so don't complain." Sure. And I, I was, and I will say that when I, when I was, when I dreamt about being like a singer in, in the band, I was 11, and believe me, I had no idea <laughs> that uh, musicians. Um, had to face, but they have their own reality to face, you know. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I had no idea. So, and I didn't read any articles or didn't watch any interviews uh, because, like, first of all, I didn't have any any internet connection, you know, <laughs> and yeah, even right. computer or whatever. Yeah. So I imagined it to be like a fucking fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But obviously it's not like that. What what about it isn't <laughs> like what you expected? What's what's different? Uh well first of all I I didn't know that I had to do so much uh, so many interviews. <laughs> <laughs> like this one? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know, like, I feel that being a musician in 20, 21st century is a mm-hmm. completely different thing than being a musician in 20th century, like the end, in the 90s, for example, or in even even in 70s and 80s. So probably I cannot compare because I've never lived in those times, you know? And, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you still get joy out of what? Do you still get joy out of what you're doing, like the live performance and performing the music and the fans? Yeah, yeah, of course. 
mm-hmm. of course, but uh, sometimes, sometimes your exhaustion or uh, like your tiredness is so overwhelming that you you kind of stop seeing those good things, you know. Every right, day. right. Feel like so disillusion. So you have to, to always it. be focused. Yeah, yeah. You have always. You have to be focused all the time on good, mm-hmm. which is a really hard thing for me. <laughs> right. But I'm trying to. I'm trying to be grateful and yeah, try to learn. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that has anything to do with just your upbringing and, you know, living in the Ukraine and all those hardships? No, no, not at all. Uh, I think I was born like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I I believe that. Well, a lot of people think that you can shift energies, you know, from yeah. negative to positive. I think, well, to my mind, people are born with a certain with a certain kind of energy, you know. You're right. And uh, someone was born sad, and yeah, and someone was born, uh, I don't know, like very, um, like happy and positive, and uh, no matter what happens in their life, they're always positive, and they don't even have to make any effort to stay mm-hmm. positive. This is a genuine, uh, genuine en- energy. And someone was just like seeing everything in a black and white. Yeah. It's really hard. Someone doesn't believe in the energy at all. So. Well, yeah, I, I think we all know people that are, you know, positive all the time. And there's, I mean, do you view yourself as like an introvert? You're introverted. You're yeah, kind of in your head, a deep thinker. 200% introverted. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of thinking about things. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not yeah. Bad. I remember, and again, um, I analyze myself all the time, and uh, sometimes people make me think that I'm kind of like uh, retarded or <laughs> handicapped, you know, being an yeah. introvert. People, people, a lot of people don't even know that there is a term like intro, uh, extrovert and introvert. Mm-hmm. And uh, they think that those shy people are just like, there's something wrong with them but hell no i remember that uh once in my childhood i was very extroverted but then right. something clicked in my head and when uh I, well i was dancing uh, like in the circle of our relatives you know uh mm-hmm. at the parties uh holidays you know and then something clicked in my head and i started avoiding people like mm-hmm. when, when our relatives uh, came to celebrate some holiday, I was hiding un- under under my bed because there was very crazy dude, like my not really uncle, he's not my relative, you know. Not there's not blood relationships, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he was really loud, <laughs> and I sure. was hiding from him. Yeah, I was hiding under my bed so that he didn't, like, disturb me, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you still feel yeah. that way? Do you still feel like you're, you kind of get your energy from being alone? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I am so, happy when I'm alone. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. I'm, I'm dancing with myself. I'm laughing at stupid jokes <laughs> in my head. Yeah, it, yeah, may, yeah. it, it may sound like weird but yeah um it doesn't sound weird because you're talking to two introverts right now so i totally <laughs> yep. I, t- I totally relate oh, to this seriously uh, oh are you subscribed to any uh, do you follow any like introverted pages in on the instagram because i do and i always uh, laugh <laughs> not oh, on no. instagram but i follow i follow an instagram like a subreddit on are you familiar with reddit uh-uh so Reddit is just kind of uh, Michael. How would you describe Reddit? Uh, it's a I would I would call it a content aggregation platform. Basically, mm-hmm. people post things and mm-hmm. then comment on them and share them and stuff. So there oh. is a there is a subreddit they would call it, 
and the category is introverts. And I follow that because I can relate to a lot of that and what you're saying. I, I too enjoy being alone. I mean, I like to hang out, watch movies, play video games. Maybe I'll take a bath. I mean, I, I like yeah. that too. That's where I get my energy. Yeah. And you know, uh, I don't like, I don't like being around like 10 people at the same mm -hmm. time. Uh, two, two guys or, or like two persons are enough for me to, to feel alive, you know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah you'd rather have... People you, drain my energy. <laughs> yeah, and then that must be hard because you're touring right now and you're probably surrounded by people, right? So you're yeah. probably pretty exhausted. I, I chose a wrong, wrong job, <laughs> <laughs> wrong but profession. But you're so good at it. Yeah, that's the, that's the beauty of life. You mm -hmm. have to do things which are like... Not your cup of tea, but you're good in it. It's a kind of it's, it's a paradox of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like outside of your comfort zone, but yeah. it probably is a good when, thing because yeah. Mm. Yeah, when they say like uh, when they're always talking about comfort zone, I have no idea what they are talking about. Oh really? Is that not a like Ukrainian phrase? No, no. I mean, like <laughs> I don't remember when I was. At my comfort zone. Oh, you don't know. Okay, you don't remember when you were comfortable. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Well, your comfort yeah, zone is yeah. probably just being alone, right? What do you, What do you like to do when you're alone? What yeah. What relaxes you? Uh, I like to. I really like to watch uh, cartoons. Yeah. Like Soviet Soviet cartoons. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, yeah, and um, old movies while I'm while I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. And yeah, well, I I love to watch something and do something uh, at the same time, you know. Yeah, multitask. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it, it it's just like maybe drawing or mm -hmm. I was knitting. I remember I I really liked knitting, but right now not not really. Yeah. And um, yeah, I did some bead work. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. Sometimes I dress up for myself and, and dance. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> to song. What are you yeah, What are you dancing to? to? Oh, well, if I'm really sad, I'm I'll probably listen to some Amy Winehouse. And yeah. Dancing some waltz <laughs> with myself. Oh my. Okay, I, I'm talking about it. It, it and it's not funny at all. I feel like it's it's freaking sad. <laughs> oh no, I don't think it's sad at all. I think there's plenty of introverted people right now and introverted people that are your fans or fans of your music and they're probably loving this to hear it. Yeah. Because they can like, connect with you that yeah, way. Yeah, I would you like know? to yeah, yeah. Because like I now I understand why I'm an introverted person in the extroverted world. Because all the people that surround me are extroverted. Just mm -hmm. because all the introverts are sitting at their home <laughs> and dancing with themselves right mm -hmm. now. So oh, everything, yeah, falls into its place. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I mean, uh, I know that's what I always say to myself too. Is like, you know, introverts like to kind of be in their own comfortable shell. Is there any like? Do you listen to current metal? It doesn't seem that way. Are you listening to any current bands? Current. Yeah, like uh, any <coughs> other metal bands that are popular today. Are you listening to metal music when you're out on the road? Uh, or really, really, uh, it's not that often, really. Mm -hmm. I I don't. I think I don't. Oh no, two days two days ago I listened to Britney Spears. You know, and yeah. I don't yeah. I don't listen to metal. I think anymore. Interesting. Well, uh, at least at least you were in the tour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there's. T too much metal in my life right now. Yeah, you need a break, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. So then, other than Amy Winehouse and Britney Spears, what other kind of music are you listening to? <laughs> some old school hip hop, um, some uh, some reggae, mm -hmm. really old or contemporary artists, you know, like Damian Marley or, um, yeah. Whoever. I love Shaggy, for example. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, uh, 
Okay. Shaggy Mr. the... Mr. Bombastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Yes. Lover Lover, yeah. <laughs> I could never understand um, what he was saying, but I loved I loved his music too when he was putting it out. It's a very romantic song and very saucy and <laughs> mm-hmm. kind of with a, yeah, a lot of erotic vibes in there, but yeah. Um, it's good, good stuff to dance to. Huh? I said it's good music to dance to. Yeah. Yes. What old school hip hop are you listening to? Uh, we usually listen to, of course, Cypress Hill, House of Pain. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Well, I like, I don't know if Snoop Dogg is too old school, but. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Snoop yeah. Dogg's timeless. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, well, well mainly if, if if we want to listen to some hip hop, it would probably be uh, um, Cypress Hill and House of Pain. Yeah. yeah, I'm familiar with both of those bands. I I haven't listened to them a lot, but I should get into them more. Michael, have you listened to those bands? Not not a ton. I think I've listened to uh, one Cypress Hill album. What does Cypress Hill sing? Um, do, do they what's what's like a big song they do? Um. Mr. Greensome. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like yeah. yeah. oh yes, I've yeah. heard I've heard that one. I've heard that one. Okay. Yeah, they're good. I should I should dig into that a little yeah. deeper. Yeah. Were they a nineties band? I think nineties, yeah. Maybe they even started like in the late eighties. I don't I, no, yeah, I think that their first album was maybe in ninety something, ninety one or ninety at the beginning of nineties. Mm-hmm. So you said you're you're watching Soviet cartoons. What's do you have an example what's an example of a Soviet cartoon? Oh I can like if I could, I would probably send you links. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. To, to the YouTube videos, yeah, but uh, um, I I won't even try to translate those uh, titles into English, you know, because like uh, uh, it's it's impossible. Okay, sure. Yeah, but uh, there's a one good cartoon uh, about Winnie Pooh. Yeah. yeah. Like Winnie yeah, the Pooh? But, yeah, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Did you did and, you watch uh, like uh, did you? How Americanized was Ukraine? Did you guys get like uh, MTV? Did you get Nickelodeon and things like that? Like. Yeah, I think like when I was six or seven, uh, MTV was broadcasting. Yeah, well, broadcast uh, on our local local channel you know yeah i remember yeah we had mtv and then um in the in the mid 90s uh, mm-hmm. it was like that the, there there was a russian mtv oh interesting so that, okay that was yeah that was that was really cool yeah we watched i watched it all the time that's how i got into music actually and um, yeah, and uh, Nickelodeon, yeah, like our Ukrainian TV like channels, they they tra- they showed us some some cartoons, but mm-hmm. you know, with in little portions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard but something. I I, I, yeah. I read something that Ukrainian people rarely smile. Is that true? Oh, uh, you know that it's not like like Ukrainian people are really f- friendly. Yeah, and they're warm-hearted, really. But it's because because of the historical events mm-hmm. and and the economic uh, situation in country. Like it's always been like this, you know, since yeah. we since we uh, became like an independent country. Mm-hmm. Do you so, think you always yeah. live in Ukraine? I don't know. Really, I, I, if you ask me, like, if I have like a five-year plan, you know, yeah, I don't. Sure. I, I, I don't like to think about it because mm, life will, life always brings me a lot of surprises. 
so I sure. I stopped yeah. I stopped um, like waiting for something. Yeah, I yeah. just yeah. go with the flow. Yeah, no, I get that. I got one more Ukraine question. Um, mm -hmm. What's the best Ukrainian exclusive food? The best one, I think it's borscht. I've heard, I've never had that. I've heard, I've seen that on menus in America. Uh, yeah. What's in borscht? Okay. Uh, borscht is kind of a tomato and beetroot, uh, beetroot soup with meat on meat stew, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. brought like, yeah. Is it spicy? And, um, no, not really, not really at all. So you, you put cabbage there and, uh, uh, beetroot and uh, tomatoes and onions and garlic, potato. Um, yeah, it, it, it's really like it, it looks really like burgundy. Yeah. The color of, yeah, it, yeah. Okay. of, of borscht is really great and it's so tasty. And you, you put a spoon of, a, of a sour cream in there mm -hmm. and it's even better. And some green, green greenery, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, do you make that yourself? Yeah, yeah. I do. But I, I do like I make a little bit uh, lazy version because in Ukraine we have in in supermarkets we have this uh, kind of I don't know how to how to explain it. So it all the beetroot, you know, beetroot mm -hmm. and tomato, like the paste. Is already yes. done for for the for borscht. Yeah. But yeah, once I remember, I made it like a full version, <laughs> complete mm -hmm. version. Yeah. And that was my first time I cooked it. That's kind of a time consuming though. But must yeah. be worth it because you like it. Yeah, yeah. And you can you can substitute meat with with beans, for example. Are you doing that? Because I had read that you were uh, vegan. Are you still trying to be vegan? Uh, it's, I, I try. I really try, but uh, it's hard times for me right now <laughs> being vegan. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm at home, I I completely um, follow vegan uh, <clears throat> diet. Yes. But <laughs> when I'm on the road, I try. <laughs> I switch to vegetarian diet. And uh, and yeah, some yeah, and sometimes it's quite often I love fish and I cannot I cannot uh, resist seafood. Yeah, fish is great. I, I, yeah, big fan. Yeah, but uh, you know I I try not to consume so so much mm -hmm. um, animal uh, products in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try. And yeah, it's really it's, and it's tough. Some, it's tough. Yeah, some people say that it 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 doesn't have to be a sacrifice for you, but I, mm -hmm. it really is <laughs> for me. It, yeah, it really is a sacrifice because yeah, I'm, like when I smell meat, it's like I'm going crazy. Yeah, yeah you want you want all it. my animal. Yeah, all my animal. Uh, uh, like instincts. Genes. Yeah, instincts. They they start to play tricks with mm. my brain <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah because yeah, uh, I, I know that I try to decrease the meat intake but it's hard for me too because where I grew up it was very much uh, the diet was like meat and potatoes so it's hard to break that yeah, yeah. but it's good it's I know a lot of people end up feeling better when they do go vegan they feel a little healthier you know mm-hmm mm-hmm well, for me, like I, I don't, I don't see any difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't. Nothing changed, really. Yeah, nothing changed in me. Mm -hmm. Not even like, not even body wise. You didn't like shed weight or anything no. like that. No, no, I don't lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay where you're even at. Even if huh? I eat only, yeah, if, even if I eat only like plant based food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, and I'm jumping on stage like twenty four seven. But yeah, no, well, maybe just because I, 
I drink alcohol, you know. Yeah. A bit, so. What do you like to drink? Very, uh, well, if I, I like wine, mm-hmm. but I drink vodka. Yeah, okay. <laughs> do you mix it it's with a, anything? It's a booster. It's just like, no, 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 it's a booster for me. Okay. For okay. energy. Yeah. I don't drink vodka just because I, oh, I enjoy the taste. No. Mm-hmm. When do I do, don't do shows, I don't drink, you know? <laughs> do you drink vodka before the show or after? A, a small amount before the show mm-hmm. and uh, a little bit after. Are you nervous to, before you get really, on stage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, always. and that, that helps maybe a little bit? Yeah, yeah, of course. That brings, like, vodka brings, like, extroverted side of me. Yeah, sure brings that out of the woodworks yeah because there's no uh, yeah yeah what are you doing after a show to like (laughs) you know there's all that adrenaline that comes with the putting on a live show what do you Mm -hmm. do after the show is that adrenaline still going or do you guys just have to be alone after the show i like to be around my band after the show (laughs) i like to hang out with them maybe discuss the the show we played Mm-hmm. And um, talk about like plans for future, maybe some yeah, maybe some drink some beer, yeah, and hang out. How did you meet the guys? Hang out. Oh, it was many years ago, and it's a really long story. It Is just, it? Are they people you grew up with? No, no, no. We met like when I was sixteen or seventeen. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And then Some of here, them. here you are today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I made friends with them, which is not a easy thing thing to do for me. Yeah, yeah. Are <laughs> they all pretty extroverted? Friends, but yeah, they are good. Yeah, they are mm-hmm. nice. They are all very communicating people. Mm-hmm. So you have your last, this is your last show tonight in Portland, and then you guys are headed back? When we go back to Ukraine. We have we have like three days there, or two days off mm-hmm. yeah. in Kiev. Then we play show our huge headlining show. Okay. In Kiev, and it's already sold out. And Congrats. it's like I don't know, yeah, one thousand and sixty hundred mm-hmm. tickets already sold or something like that. Yes, you know, so that would be huge, and. Um, then the next day, we are going to start our European tour. And how long is that European tour going to go for? Uh, like a month, a little bit more. And then do you get yeah. like a little bit of a break after that? Yeah, yeah. We have a break uh, till the end of February. Okay, sure. Like two months. Two months of... Uh, vacation <laughs> yeah there you go do you have a plan do you, are you going to go anywhere or are you going to just stay in ukraine during that time no i'm going to to visit my friend in l.a okay well that'd be fun yeah yeah <laughs> I've, I've never traveled uh alone you know so that would be my first time and yeah being again being an introverted <laughs> Yeah, person, kind of. A, I'm stressed. Yeah, it'll be good. I, I I travel alone. It's it's <laughs> it's good. It's good. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, and then, do you guys go out on tour again after that? Oh yeah, I don't remember. I think we start. Uh, oh, we we start in Latin America mm-hmm. or Australia. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I I prefer to think about one tour. One thing at a time, time, right? Yeah. 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 All right, Tatiana. Well, thank you so much for being on and chatting with us. Uh, Thank you for being a good sport because we know you're not feeling well. And, uh, yeah, that means a lot to us. Good luck with your show tonight. Um, And, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And, yeah, all the best for you.